Hey guys, I am back with the easiest bread hack you could ever imagine. If you like homemade bread but are not comfortable working with yeast, go to your local grocery store and buy a ball of pre-made pizza dough. Frozen or, or fresh, either one will work. If it's frozen, you just want to let it thaw. If it's fresh and, one, and a thawed piece of dough, you want to let it rise on the counter for about 30 minutes to an hour in the bag that it came in. And once that has happened, you want to uh, knead it like you see me doing here, uh, just to get the air bubbles out. And once you knead it, you can start to form your loaves. Now, most of the time at my grocery store, the, um, the pizza dough comes in one pound pizza, dough, pizza balls. Uh, I, ha I was able to get a hold of a two pound ball uh, and I'm gonna use, use it to make two loaves. But if you have just a one pound ball, just make one loaf. But I'm gonna show you how to make two uh, loaves with this pizza ball that I have here. This one is a rustic round loaf, uh, real easy to do. The next one I'm gonna actually place in a loaf pan um, and you wanna just flatten it out and roll it up like a burrito, making sure that you tuck in the ends. Uh, and uh, you'll see that it'll fit right into your loaf pan nicely. And once you do all of that, you wanna let your pizza dough rise cover it and let it rise in a warm place for about an hour so this is something you want to do get this part prepped and started then go ahead and start your dinner and by the end of dinner you should have uh fresh bread which is what exactly what what we had uh for our spaghetti dinner tonight so now my bread has risen and i've taken it and i'm uncovering it i'm gonna score it and you don't have to do this. I just kind of score the bread so that if it needs to release any steam, it can. Um, but you, you don't necessarily have to do this because the bread is not uh, going to explode. It won't explode in the oven because there's no steam uh, involved in home ovens. So, you know, it's optional. But once you score it, uh, you want to... I did this completely backwards. You want to uh, brush it with some oil and dust it with a little flour. Also optional. You could also do butter. But I like to do a little oil because it actually helps the bread to brown. And here is my bread coming out of the oven. I baked it at 375 for about 35 minutes. And I'm going to um, brush it with butter. And this is a crusty bread. So if you like bread that has a nice crust on it and a good chew in the center, you will like this bread. It's not like your soft bread, like your Wonder Bread. It's not like that. It's a good chewy, crusty bread. Uh, great for garlic bread. Great for dipping in sauces. Um, just a great bread all, all around without all of the work. And here it is. And my husband is cutting a slice for you all so you can see what the inside looks like. Nice crumb, nice That's texture. Nice you can see how crusty it is. Just a great, great recipe. Give it a try and let me know how you like it because this is just such a great hack. I wish I had now, known stop. about this years ago. Take a picture. Thanks for watching.